materials we use for sustainable manufacturing need to be recyclable, non-toxic, easy to prepare and purify. It's not surprising that we can use the same elements that we use for photocatalysis also for biomedical application. We focus on two different aspects of biomedical research, design of biosensors and contrast agents, and drug formulations, particularly development of drug delivery systems. And we focus on treating senescent cells and dealing with solid tumors, such as difficult to treat pancreatic cancer. So I study cellular senescence, which is a program response when a cell is damaged or is replicated too much where it stops dividing and starts to secrete a number of inflammatory compounds. This has major effects on the tissue, which causes a lot of problems um, for organisms um, and is now thought to be a hallmark of aging. Recently and really excitingly, people have started to treat these cells using compounds called senolytics. Um, and with these, they've improved mice's lifespan as well as health span. Uh, but there's still some problems and some things that aren't understood. So now I'm working on nanoparticles to identify these cells in living systems and with the idea that if we can identify them, we can understand them more as well as treat them more effectively. Both to identify senescent cells and design targeted therapies to remove them, we need to understand what makes them different from healthy cells. This is why we are trying to identify senescent biomarkers, which will allow us to distinguish them between the different cells in our body. I'm working with senescent cells caused by cancer therapies. So even though these cells do not reproduce, we know that they excreted a lot of variety of proteins and enzymes. So for my project, I'm trying to exploit some of these enzymes to deliver therapeutics or diagnostic probes that will only activate in the presence of the enzymes. I find this quite exciting because essentially what we're trying to do is to use the proteins that are produced by the cells to engineer a more specific diagnostic or therapeutic approach. So it is actually pretty difficult to deliver DNA to human cells um, and that's why viruses have developed very clever strategies to do this and uh, in my project uh, we develop biopolymers that are inspired by viruses to deliver uh, DNA to human cells. Specifically we use DNA that codes for the green fluorescent protein because we can monitor the expression of that protein very precisely on the confocal microscope. My background is medicinal chemistry. I am currently working on a project uh, where we are looking for new treatment options for pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer is one of the hard to treat cancers because it has a very poor survival rate and the current treatment options are uh, not effective. Um, for that purpose, we are looking into developing also new biological models, uh, 3D models that represent the tumor microenvironment more accurately. I'm a former chemical engineer currently also working on pancreatic cancer. Specifically, I'm trying to reprogram the tumor microenvironment using protein nanocarriers, which are these. And with my background, I really have an awareness of, of process design and scale up. So I really hope to get to use that down the line in my research. I'm interested in synthesizing novel radio labeled nanoparticles for the treatment of cancer. I want to combine radiotherapy, imaging techniques and chemotherapy within the nanocarrier system. And to design such a system, it is a tough process and there have been many failed attempts along the way, but each little step brings us closer to our goal. Interestingly, some of these nanomaterials also have applications as antimicrobial agents, so it's really fascinating to see in which direction the science can take you.